for it TV. The world is thinking. I do think that this personal genomics is very much part of this kind of, you know, web 2.0 phenomenon of sharing information. And I think that, in, in some sense, it's the ultimate form of that. I mean, it's, it's the ultimate form of information sharing. And I think some of the problems that we're seeing now with personal genomics actually potentially are problems that people haven't fully realized with Web 2.0. Uh, I mean, sharing lots of pictures of yourself or your location and so forth is sometimes a little more problematical in the long term than, you know, people might realize when they're doing it. And I do think that we're going to... Um, you know, have to redefine notions of privacy and acceptability, you know, going into the future with, with all this information sharing. And, I, you know, I, but one thing I think is uh, that we've seen that is remarkable is, you know, uh, med mental illness has always had such a stigma. And people, my mother's, my, mo my mom's mom had bipolar disorder, and they just never talked about it. In the, they lived in a small town, and it was just terrible, and nobody talked about it. And I told my mom the other day, there was a, there's a blogger in Philly who blogs about her bipolar, and she goes out there and says, I'm feeling great today, and the next Day I'm feeling terrible, and she's just out in the open about it, and everybody's like, "Oh, so big deal." She's got bipolar, and I think that's kind of what your your point may be that we're we're we have a different sensitivity to privacy because there are stigmas that in previous generations that we just don't have anymore, and we just we're not as concerned about these things. And I do think there's a big shift. I have a son who's a junior at Berkeley, and he's, you know, privacy. You know, they're they're out on Facebook. They're doing all these things. Is he one of my students? I have 250 students, and they don't care. We're it's not it's a different. Yeah, it's a different. We're going to have to limit it to one yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, in, a, in a way, it's still an empirical question, and it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Are there right. going to be people who are right now feeling comfortable with sharing, but when they see all the implications, they're going to be nervous about it? Or is it really a generational shift where we really are facing a group of people? And again, we can start to empirically explore this question. Yes, it's but right. a new like, generation where they just don't care. So a little like getting a tattoo, or you're going to regret it later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we yeah. just don't know. Go ahead.